A couple months ago, Teak Tuning came out with some wheels called Globe Wheels. They're basically wheels, but no flat surface on them, and they basically look like you took a bead, drilled a hole in them, and put a bearing inside. I wasn't kidding when I said that. You already know I had to order some. So today, I'm gonna look at the Globe Wheels and see exactly what all the hype is about. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So Teak Tuning is still considered a pro fingerboard brand, but I'd definitely say a lot of this stuff is catered to beginners. I would say if somebody has a tech deck, they're most likely to either go with P-Rep or Teak Tuning, but I would probably say Teak Tuning. So inside this package are my very own set of globe wheels. So I'm super excited to open these up and see exactly how good they are. Yo, these teak stickers are actually pretty cool. If you know me, you probably know that I love like the simplistic graphics, but these stickers actually are pretty detailed, but I kind of like them. I really like how teak tuning wheels always come in this like little like bottle, I guess. I'm about to rank my favorite wheel unboxing experiences. In rank three, we do have the teak tuning wheels. Now this little container of wheels is pretty cool, but you kind of just unscrew it and dump them out like that. In the number two spot, we got Bull God fingerboard wheels. These wheels came in like this actual little glass jar and it has a little cork in the end with like a laser engraved logo on it. So you just need to pop the cork out and then you dump the wheels out. Very good. There's something very satisfying about taking wheels out of a glass jar. And in the number one spot, we have maple fingerboard wheels. Now I know this is just a box, but there's something about sliding it out and your wheels are in this foam. It then just pops the wheels out and boom, you have your wheels. I feel like maple wheels just feel very premium and they're like matte black box and they do look pretty good as well. Thought I would just mention my top three wheel unboxings, but time to look at the wheels. Here they are. I'm actually pretty confused right now these are all the same wheel. Why is there a solid color blue wheel? Like, I ordered these wheels, not a blue wheel. Let me just look at my order. I don't think this is supposed to be blue. It's not even like there's any other color in this. Like, this is a solid blue wheel. These are the wheels that I ordered. And this is what I got. Again, these ones are all good, but it's just that blue one. How did that even get shipped out? Like, surely somebody packaging this up noticed that. Okay then. So these are the globe wheels, and you can really see if they didn't cut off the sides, it would pretty much make a perfect sphere. These are definitely urethane wheels because you can feel like the little like squeak they make together. And the new IPE Toys wheels I put on this board, they actually kind of look like globe wheels, but they're not quite. These ones have flat spots, as you can see, so they're not globe wheels. But I'm actually so excited to try these new wheels. You can really see with these wheels, like they are very solid wheels. I also wanted to point out about this blue wheel, it almost looks like it's been ridden before. When I look at all the other wheels, I can't see any sort of marks, but you can definitely tell that there's some wear on this one spot, so I don't really know what's going on. I'm not even kidding, this bearing actually feels kind of rougher as well. Like these ones are all smooth, this one is smooth, this one is smooth, but this one actually has like a little bit more sound to it and I can kind of feel it being a tiny bit rougher. So I haven't ridden these yet, so let's see how they feel. Ooh, those actually do feel good. I like that the post heat tuning did about these wheels, they say it has infinite surface like contact with the table. I do kind of get what they're saying with it being round, like it can kind of go on any surface and you have like infinite contact. But at the same time, it's round, so there's really only one small point at each bottom. Does that make sense? Whereas wheels that have a flat side to them, they can actually stay upright like this, and there actually is a lot more surface contact. Whereas with these, there is only one point touching the table at all times, which maybe that actually would make it a bit smoother, but I don't really know. Even if there was contact like this or like on the inside, your trucks make it level every single time, so it's not really changing when you turn. So I wouldn't really call these infinite contact. Thank you. 
So these wheels actually do feel pretty smooth. So if I am being honest, I do like the feeling of these wheels. I don't really like the look of the wheels on the board. It just has like, I don't know, it just has a different look to it. Maybe it'll grow on me and maybe I'll actually buy some more of these wheels. But for now, I kind of just would stick with normal wheels. I feel like this would also look better if it weren't for that blue wheel. I actually am kind of disappointed in that. Like that would look really cool if they were kind of this like transparent bluish, but not the solid blue. Urethane squeak test, ill pills, globe wheels, granite test, ill pills that are super worn out and very rough, globe wheels that are brand new, ill pill test on granite, globe wheels on granite. So for the price tag of $34.99, are these wheels worth it? I haven't really had too much time to test these, but I will probably be using these on this setup for maybe a little while. So I'll kind of let you guys know once I've tested these a little bit longer, because sometimes wheels do start out very good, but after a couple weeks of use, they're maybe really rough or kind of just loud. But with about 30 minutes of use on these wheels, I really like how they feel. So you may get a different colored wheel in the package, but hey, it's just worth more. Like they threw in a blue wheel instead of the other wheels. Like, I didn't ask for that, so boom, my order just went up in value. I hope you enjoyed this little video of kind of unboxing these, reviewing them, because nobody else was gonna do it, so your boy did it for you. Now you know whether you wanna buy them or not, or maybe you don't. These wheels do feel very smooth, I will say. Like, these wheels are up there in smoothness to maple wheels. Thank you guys for watching this video and also let me know in the comments down below what other products you would like to see me review because reviewing products do be fun. Social media links are in the description down below. The subscribe button is over there. You probably can see those other videos with your own eyes there. And also if you want to go get yourself some globe wheels for yourself, I will link these in the description down below and I will see you in my next video. Mess that up.